Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today we have what is the last part of my Fine Fragrance Mist collection for now. This summer, uh, when I'm back at my parents, I will show you the Fine Fragrance Mists and the body sprays that I have there, but um, I won't be there till uh, later on this year. But until then, this is the last part. And um, I have almost 50 here, so I'm not gonna break it into two like I did the last time. I'm just gonna start going through them, show you what I have, read the notes, and yeah, let me know if you have any of these, what are some scents that you would like to see come back, because some of these I absolutely love, and I might have duplicates <laughs> at my parents. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Okay, first up we have Watermelon Lemonade. This is Watermelon Ice, Sparkling Water, and Sugared Lemon. This is a lovely one. I really like this one. It's bright and refreshing, and the the dents are not doing some of these justice, I feel. Then I have Buttercups and Berry Bellini. This is Strawberry Puree, butter, Buttercup Flowers, and Bubbly Prosecco. This is another nice one. I like strawberries, so that that's one that I really enjoy as well. We have Perfect Peony. I wish I knew what the notes on this one were. Um, this is my second one. I think I showed one in one of my earlier videos. So this is the one that I've had for a little while. Oh, I was going to tell you dates. So this one is from 2020. The Buttercups and Berry Bellini is from 2022. Those are both like spring type scents. And then Watermelon Lemonade is from 2021. Then next up I have Beautiful Day. The notes on this are Sun Kissed Apple, Sparkling Cassis, White Daisies, or Wild Daisies, Pink Peony, and Fresh Woods. This one is from 2022. It actually came out in 2023, but it was one of those early ones, so it was manufactured the year before. I think this one is so pretty. I really liked the packaging. And this is one that I should be wearing here in the spring because it is a really nice uh, springy set. Then I have Fiji Sunshine. Not with the Guano 15, just the Fiji Sunshine. I liked this packaging better, so I know I have another one of this one somewhere as well. This one is from 2023. They were in the same uh, packaging, just got them at different times of the year, I guess. I don't know. But I would say Fiji Sunshine is more of a summer tropical type scent. Don't know why I feel a little stuffed up all of a sudden. Fresh Jungle Rain. We have Rain Kissed Palms, Amazon Dragon Fruit, and Misty Breeze. This is a nice refreshing type of a scent. Then we have Champagne Toast, kind of a classic. We all know this one. It is Bubbly Champagne, Sparkling Berries, and Juicy Tangerine. I need to start using my Champagne, champagne Toast more because I know I have more than one. Gingham Gorgeous. This one is really pretty. This is Pink Strawberries, Peach Nectar, and Peony Blooms. This was my favorite of the ginghams. I think of all of the ginghams ever, ever. That's my favorite. Then we have, uh, what is this one? Sparkling Orange Spritz. This is Sunkissed Mandarin, Bubbly Prosecco, and Citrus Soda. Once again, I forget to keep telling you the years. This one is from 2023. The Gingham Gorgeous is also from 2023. And my Champagne Toast, this one, is from 2021. I know I have a few of them because they came in like gift sets and I got like the gift with purchase or the purchase with purchase. Yeah. Then we have Magnolia Charm. This one is different and this one is one of, this one's from 2022. The notes on this one are Dewy Pear Blossom, Blooming Magnolia, and Fresh Cedar. I feel like this one they marketed it as a fall scent, but I think with the white florals in here, you could definitely use that as a spring scent. We have Watermelon Mojito. This one is from 2023 as well. This one is Watermelon Soda, Pink Rum, and Cane Sugar. I love the packaging on this collection that they did. So nice. Then we have Golden Mango Lagoon. Once again, also 2023. Sunny Mango, Saltwater Woods, and Coral Blooms. We have a nice spring scent. They just redone the packaging on this and I'm not gonna buy another one even though they're very pretty. But this is Butterfly, this is Raspberry Nectar, Iris Petals, and Airy Vanilla. The year on this one is 2022. I think that was a really nice one and I'm glad that I got it. Cherry Limeade, oh my gosh, I love this scent. Oh, it smells like cherry jello to me. Like if you make cherry jello, oh, I love cherry jello. Um, so we have Juicy Red Cherries, Candy Lime, and Sparkling Citrus Soda. I know, I don't think everybody loves Cherry Limeade, but it is one of my all-time favorites. We have Gingham Love. This one is okay. It is Sugared Red Berries, Blushing Freesia, and Rose Meringue. 
I think it's the Freesia. I just don't really like Freesia. This one is from 2021 and I need to remember that and not buy any more with Freesia because I just, I never enjoy them. Firecracker Pop, I got this one because I loved the packaging with the fancy lid. Did I need this? No, I haven't finished my other one, but I purchased it anyway. We have Red Cherry, Fresh Citrus, and Juicy Berry. It's so good though. I do, I love a bright, juicy, fruity scent, especially like a berry one. Mm, so good. Then we have Indigo Dreams. This is Bergamot Waters, Glowing Amber, and Warm Musk. The year on this one is 2023. I don't remember this one. Like, I don't think I've really... This one I probably should use as a pillow spray. I think this would probably work as a pillow spray. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll put that in that pile. So this is one I probably should have been using this month because I've been using the body care of this. This is Bubbly Rosé. Your notes are pink, sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, and splash of cranberry. It's just okay. It's I don't love blood orange, I think, in scents, and that's why it's just okay to me. It's kind of like... Right, Christmas morning wasn't my favorite either. I like this one better, but it's not one that I love. This one was from 2021. And then we have Summer Melody. I love this scent. I am sad that it came and went so quickly, but I really like this one. It is just two notes, Golden Honeydew and Bronze Vanilla. This is from 2022. Such a good scent. Uh, very, I don't know. I just, I really liked it. And I know, I don't think it was as popular as, it, as other scents have been. We have Cherry Blossom. This is Dewy Watermelon, Red Plum, Cherry Blossom, Sheer Freesia, and Soft Sandalwood. Uh, this is from 2021. This one's just okay to me. Um, I wish, I want the watermelon to be more prominent, but I do like it better than Japanese Cherry Blossom. So there's that. We have Coco Paradise. This one is from 2022. This is Salted Coconut Manoi, Sugared Neroli, and Bronzed Sandalwood. I'm not a big salty fan, and I feel like this is just too salty for me, so this is not one that I reach for a lot. I love the candle in this. Like I loved smelling it around, but when I put it on my skin, I just don't like it. So um, that might be one that I should probably pass along at some point. Gingham Fresh. It is another one of the ginghams that they put out last year. We have Juicy Pear, Sparkling Clementine, and Fresh Daisies. I did not like this one. I got it because I wanted the whole set, but I don't like this one. This one's from 2023. That daisy scent, I think, is, I just don't like the smell of the daisies in here. It was my least favorite of them. And I don't know if I like this one less or gingham less, because I don't like gingham either, but yeah, it was not my favorite. We got a lot of spring ones over here. We have Confetti Daydream. This is Fresh Raspberries, Sparkling Pear, and Blue Iris. This one's just okay to me. Uh, I wish the berries and the pear were a little bit more prominent. That's how I feel. Oh, year. We have 2021 on that. I do love the packaging. I think the packaging is really pretty, though. It is some nice faceted back in the day. Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I purchased a second bottle because I just wanted it to match the other ones that I had. You know, the watermelon mojito and all of those. So this is from 2023. Your notes are sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. Then we have Midsummer Dream. This is Salted Pear, Fresh Nectarine, and Seaside Lily. This one is okay. Um, it's not as salty as the other one, so I like it a little bit more. I love pear, and I think that's why I, like the pear is pretty prominent to me, but I do love that one. I think that's a nice one. This one is from 2022, uh, and I think I have a hair mist from Sea Salt Hair Mist from the year before. We have Vanilla Coconut. This is uh, Whipped Vanilla for Peach Blossom and Warm Coconut. I feel like this is different than the vanilla coconut that they did about 10 years earlier. This one is from 2022. I feel like that one I liked a little bit better. I don't know where that one is, but, or maybe I finished it. I don't know, but this one is good. I do like it. I just, the peach blossom always throws me off just a little bit. Happy Easter, Tutti Fruity Candy. This packaging is not the best. Uh, this is 2022. They've done some really cute ones the past couple years, but I don't use this one enough to warrant buying another one. So this is Sweet Jelly Beans, Mixed Berries, and Sugared Lemon. It's a nice one. It's a very fruity type scent. I like it better than this one. This one is Whipped Berry Meringue. We have Fresh Berries, Whipped Sugar, and Fluffy Vanilla. This one's just okay to me. I do need to start spraying some of these more though. Like I'm looking at these and I'm like, I need to start wearing some of these a little bit more. 
We have Poolside Cabana. I love this one. It is crisp pear, warm breeze, and solar sandalwood. I swear this has lime in it. It it has like a, a liminess to it. I don't know how to describe it more than that. This one is from 2023. I did pick up a backup of this one because it's refreshing. It's nice. It's it kind of it's one of those ones like cherry liming that I just absolutely love. And I love it just is a pick me up. I forgot to say Whipped Berry Meringue is from 2021. Sorry, I'm trying to remember everything every time I talk, but I'm not always the best. This one I got at Tuesday morning. This is Starlit Night. The packaging on this one is very different. I don't know. Um, it's all, it's not in English. That is for sure. And it says the fragrance note is the same Lorem Ipsum three times in a row. So I did pick up this one just because I had never seen anything like it. This one was from 2021 and yeah, it was just, it was different. So that's why I got it. I also miss Tuesday morning so much. I got that just before they announced their bankruptcy that they were closing all the stores. I know another company has bought them and they're reopening some stores that are like franchises. They're not Tuesday morning. They are a completely different brand, different kind of, I don't know, like you look online at their new website and it's like that's that's not the Tuesday morning that we loved for years like almost 50 years I want to say all right magic in the air I love this one I've gone through a full size and then they didn't bring it back this year so I've been hoarding this one this one is from 2022 the notes on this are almond flower it's so sparkly sparkling persimmon white iris whipped vanilla bourbon and fluffy sandalwood such a good scent I love spraying this on my pillows and drenching myself in this at night when I go to sleep. It's it's so comforting. I love it. Midnight Blue Citrus. This is Juicy Citrus, Fresh Sparkling or Fresh Spring Water and Sweet Mango. This is from last year, 2023. Um, I have not really given this one a go. I bought this one and then it kind of got buried in everything, and so probably should use that one. This one has a dent. I'm surprised it's only this much of a dent because I feel like. I spray it more than that. But this is Pink Watermelon Blast. I love this. This is Juicy Pink Watermelon, Sugared Strawberry Blossoms, and Lime Zest. This is from 2022. Then they did, do I have? I don't know. I might have the new version because they rebranded this as Groovy Watermelon. I love this one. It's like a candied watermelon. It's so good. It's so good. Probably my favorite watermelon of all the ones. Watermelon Lemonade is really good too. Moonlight Path. This is another one that I like in the evening to spray on things. Uh, this is from 2022, this packaging. This was, came in a gift set. This is Night Blooming Jasmine, Blue Violet, Sheer Lavender, Lily of the Valley, and Soft Musk. This is a very, um, it's an older scent, but it's nostalgic to me because this was uh, my aunt's scent when she passed away and I got her beauty products. Um, she had Moonlight Path, so every time I smell this, I think of her. Then I have Hello Beautiful. This is a very springy one. This is White Gardenia, Jasmine Petals, Magnolia Blossom, Pink Nectarine, and Cotton Musk. I should be wearing this one in the spring. This one is from 2021. I'm, I'm, I'm making notes here like, oh, this is one that I probably should start wearing. We have Sweet Petal Pancake. This one smells so good. Maybe not as good as Pink Petal Tea Cake, but it's up there, it's up there. This one is from 2023. This is Candy Rose uh, Raspberry Swirl and Frosted Butt Cake. I don't get a lot of the butt cake, it's more of the frosting that I get, so it's a good one, I do enjoy it. Disco Daydream, also from 2023. This is Kelly Day's Wild Vanilla and Radiant Coconut. I'm not sure what I think about this one. Um, I. Oh, this one smells, this is like a creamy, I like this one. It's similar to vanilla coconut, but it's different. Um, it, that peach blossom really does a, there's a major difference between them, but I feel like they're both comforting and that one is more comforting than the vanilla coconut. Here you go, Groovy Watermelon, this one's from 2023. This is uh, the same as Pink Watermelon Blast. It is Juicy Pink Watermelon, Sugar Strawberry Blossoms, and Lime Zest. Then we have Amethyst Waves. This one is from 2023 as well. We have Dream Berries, Wild Blooms, and Soft Sandalwood. I was not gonna smell any of these, but now I'm like, 
Okay, the berry is a little bit more prominent than like among the clouds. It's nice. I That's another one I need to start wearing some more. Then we have Emerald Mist, which is Fresh Rainfall, Sunkiss Pear, and Blonde Woods. I love pear, so I was, I've been really trying to pick up all the pear scents. Mm, yeah, this one does have a kind of prominent pear note. It's more of a pear, like Juliet has a gun pear ink than like LaBelle or anything like that. Sweet Pea, I need to wear this one too more. This one is from 2022. And we have Sweet Pea, Watery Pear, Sheer Freesia, Luscious Raspberry, and Soft Musk. I need to rotate, I think, because these are kind of buried in my closet at the moment. I'm like, man, I got all my spring scents. It's because spring is, it's starting to feel warm. So I'm starting to wear, want to wear these instead of all my fall and winter ones. Pink Watermelon, we have Juicy Watermelon, Pink Petals, and Dewy Aloe. This one's just okay. I wish this one was more prominent. Watermelon, um, I get a lot of the aloe, I think a little bit more. So this might be my least favorite watermelon. Coconut Pineapple, I'm so glad that I was able to find this one at Sass. This one is from, oh, gear. Pink Watermelon is from 2021. Coconut Pineapple is from 2023. We have Shaved Coconut, Fresh Pineapple, and Sugar Cane. And I, do I have this in a different style, maybe? I don't know. It would be in uh, my, my parents. But I did have body wash of this a couple years ago, and I loved it so much. So I was so glad when they brought it back because it is so juicy and just, mmm, it's so good. Well, speak of the devil. Here we go. Coconut pineapple. We have this one from 2022. Um, I need to find my duplicates and split them up. So there we go. We got both of those there. Uh, so I want to use up this one first because I don't like that packaging nearly as much as the other one. This is one that I've gone through an entire bottle of as well. So there's a few of them that I've gone through. And this is my second backup because I had the opportunity to get it for cheap. And I was like, I'm going to get another one because I don't think it will ever come back. Sun Blooms and Suede. We have White Raspberry Pink Petals and Vanilla Cream. Lovely, lovely scent for at night. This particular one's from 2023. It was one of like the early uh, ones that came out in 2023. So some of them are 2022, some of them are 2023, depending on when they were manufactured. But that one is so good. I really, really, really enjoy that one. And um, I would love it if they brought it back because, like I said, I went through one bottle really, really fast. Uh, if you didn't watch my year-end fragrance empties, it, it's in there. Then we have Gingham Vibrant. This one is uh, blackberries. It has wild blackberries, candy violets, and soft vanilla. This one is also from 2023. This one, oh, I do like this one. Yeah, I do like this one as well. Um, I love Blackberry. I'm wearing a Blackberry scent today, and I think this this might have layered well. I might spray it on my clothes, but I don't want to... I'm really enjoying the scent. I'm wearing Pink Me Up by Atelier d'Ors, and that Blackberry, like, it's so good. Anyway, we have two more left. I can't believe we got through this as quickly as we did. This one is from 2023 as well. I bought a lot in 2023. Man. Yeah. Okay. We have fruity sherbet or sherbet scoop, rainbow sherbet, uh, zesty orange, and sun-kissed strawberry. This one was okay. It's not my favorite. It's, you know, a berry type of a scent, uh, fruity scent, but not, it's a little sharp, I guess. It's not as creamy or as sweet as some of the other scents that I absolutely love. So there's that one. Then we have bubblegum pop. Oh my gosh. I love this one. I bought so many of this. This is gumball, gumball sugar, candied fruits, and citrus burst. The notes on, or this one is from 2022. I wish they would have put out a lotion in this because I would be happy to smell like bubblegum every single day. They put out the bubblegum candle this year. I love that one too. And yeah, I just, I love bubblegum. So I like to layer this with um, Moschino Toy 2 bubblegum and then also um, just a whole bunch of like sweet fruity scents. This is a good one. So yeah, uh, this one is another one that I will just spray whenever if I just want a little pick me up. This is one for that. So that's it for my fine fragrance mist collection. Look for another part in like May, June time, um, time frame, and I will pull out all the ones that I have at my parents and kind of show you what I keep there as well. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Don't forget to let me know 
what some of your fa favorite fine fragrance smiths are. Do, did you go crazy last year? I didn't realize how crazy I went until I started reading off the dates here. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time.